Well, hello there. Come on in. I'm Chris Brown. I'm your humble chimney sweep. I was just going over your chimney inspection report, but now that you're here, make yourself comfortable. Let's go over it together, shall we? Okay, now let's take a look at the inspection report and see how it reads out. This is a generic report. This is exactly what you will get, only your information obviously will be filled into all these blanks. The upper right hand corner of the report is the legend. Each one of these initials pertain to something. A is consistent with the age of the chimney. B, C comments below. C, repairs needed. D, need further evaluation or E, not applicable. And they're placed into the boxes next to the parts of the chimney that can be easily identified in this diagram. And then of course you'll find my comments here below. Now let's take a look at your particular, your personal report. So stay with me. Hey, Rebecca, what a beautiful house. Uh, great location, too, by the way. Let's uh, go inside and kind of kitty corner off to the left. We see the uh, living room fireplace, beautiful decorative surround, uh, working set of vented gas logs. Remember the uh, two sets of gas logs, the one in, in this room, the living room, and the one in the study are both vented gas logs which means they produce the carbon soot that you can see all over the logs, and they also produce the carbon monoxide, which you can't see and you can't smell. What that means is, state of North Carolina want these, wants these dampers uh, open 24-7. There are damper stops on the two, two uh, dampers, but they're not really placed in the right spot. These dampers can still be uh, almost completely closed and that wouldn't be healthy. The reason that they need to be a, a wide open 24-7 is if you closed them in the summertime, which makes perfectly good sense, you're not using the fireplace in the summertime, but in the fall if you started them up, forgot to uh, open the damper, you'd fill the house up with something you couldn't see or smell, you'd fill the house up with carbon monoxide. So state of North Carolina wants these dampers left open 24-7. Smoke chamber looks good here. This is where all the smoke and gases gather before they go up the uh, flue system. In the study, again, has that uh, working set of vented gas logs. You can kind of see, you, uh, you probably have to ha have a kind of a technical eye here, but your humble chimney sweep can see that this damper block needs to be to the right a little bit. Uh, not hurting anything as long as you don't uh, uh, play with the dampers. Just leave them wide open, which is the position that I left them in. Uh, smoke chamber looks good there. Uh, the wood burning fireplace in the den, you're more than welcome to open and shut the damper all that you want because if you forget to open it, smoke starts coming in, you go, aha, and you open up the damper. So that one does not need to be blocked open. Uh, smoke chamber area where the smoke gathers looks great. Let's, uh, let's take a look at these flue systems and then we'll come back and look at the tops of the chimney. All right. So in the living room, flu looks good. Flu joints look good. You got a flu joint every two feet. Uh, looking fine. Din as well. Uh, in the study, a little bit different deal. I, I, I don't know if the contractor ran out of uh, flu liner or whatever. He left a section out here. And this is kind of uh, not a good thing. Uh, the state of North Carolina does not want you burn, to burn wood or vented gas logs in an unlined or partially, uh, like in this case, unlined chimney because gases could get into the walls of the house. My recommendation here is to switch your gas logs in the study over to uh, vent free and that would solve the problem. Vent free gas logs is a complete combustion, no carbon soot, no carbon monoxide, perfectly safe if the gases get into the walls. Very good idea to do it that way in my opinion. Uh, living room study atop. You can see it's the three flues here. Uh, fireplace, fireplace. One on the end is uh, for the furnace flue. You can also see there's a lot of cement missing on the top of the chimney. The top uh, should be repaired. Uh, let's see. This is a, maybe a better angle of it. You can also see that one with the uh, missing flue section in there. Uh, let's go to the other side. Din fireplace, three flues. One dummy, one dummy, one fireplace. <laughs> but you can see where the the, the, the top ha had, had some cracks and it. water's gotten down in there and it's gotten trapped in here. And when it freezes, it's knocking this mortar off. So it needs to be repaired as well. And while we're looking at this, the only fireplace uh, uh, that is capped is the fireplace in the den. Remember, chimney caps are a good, good thing to think about having 
and you should have them, but they're not code required. Nobody's responsible. Uh, nobody is um, required, that is, to install chimney caps on them, but they are a smart thing to do. So folks have questions for me, give me a call, 704-526-6348. You can email me at chris at affordablesweep.com. Thanks.